a poem that I wrote um, on a, a deserted island, a lonely island. It's an, it, it is a nature reserve um, island, very, very beautiful one. And I happened to spend uh, one year there as a nature reserve warden. And I, it was a crazy thing to do because uh, there was no electricity, no shop on the island uh, in the very beginning. But it was just like a paradise island, very, very beautiful. And I thought that I don't want to go after graduating from university. I don't want to go to, to work in a literary museum or, or in folklore archive as I was offered to. I want to do something special before I have family and children. And then there was this uh, job offer. There's a beautiful lighthouse on this house and it used, was used to be a pirate's island once. And I got an apartment there and I lived just by my own. And I wrote a lot of poetry there. And one of the poems I wrote um, is called After the Storm. And that's uh, a poem that really happened it uh, it uh, i ha i haven't added uh, much so my job there was to keep the island clean uh, because um, the big ferries passed by this island that people threw a lot of uh, coca-cola bottles into the sea and after every storm all these uh, shores beautiful sandy shores were quite dirty. They had to clean it up. So I was a garbage cleaner and a poet on this island. And this is this kind of a story poem that I found after a really, really big storm. In the morning, I gather from the shore slivers of broken bottles, voidex containers, vodka vera bottles, Jars still sloshing and smelling of the marinade of sashlik long since devoured. Trodden on sand glasses, beach radio batteries. I gather bonacquas and evians, soft drink cups and beer cans. So much, so much, so much. Plastic and metal and glass, and not a single ring, and not a solitary cup with a golden handle. I gather and gather and gather on this clear morning into a black rubbish bag, hands and feet of dolls from Soviet times, a rubber head of a baby, baby penguin, a Russian border guard hat. So small, was he still a child? Bits of foam rubber, light as butterflies, flee from between my hands, numb with cold. Not a single cup, not a single ring. I tear the filmy plastic off my delicate beech roses. The leafless, thorny branches need to be cleared before the heavy spring wind blow on the still, unopened buds. I clear them so my proud roses need not grow through this film of plastic flown here from who knows where to clasp fawning and fluttering to the thorny branches. My hands are pricked and punctured and the morning ends. But at sunset I run home, fingers heavy with rings, hands bent round a cup.